Let's take a look at why Gen 12 is easier to build. Gen 9 Plus and many other products in the market have V-shaped folds. It takes more effort for me with simple tools to create nice V folds. Gen 12 changed the V folds into four larger folds. Because of the size of the folds, it is so much easier to make. Also, these large V-shaped folds create a longitudinal structural piece for the bow and stern. Gen 12 also eliminated the small decks in the front and at the back. That means less work in building this boat. But I need to compensate the structural strength the decks provided. Therefore, I created two U-shaped cross beams to replace the strength the decks provided. I like the design of the beams. It took me less than 15 minutes to make one. Now I have created the template and I could make it even faster. Installation of the beam is fast. The tie down at the front and at the back naturally prevented the beam from popping out. The fused pockets are mainly to keep the beam in place. It may not handle the pulling force that well, but the force applied to the beam is mainly due to compression. I believe using fusion to create a pocket is strong enough. The goals of the diagonal folds in Gen 9 Plus and other products in the market is to eliminate the bending radius of the folds. I found out it is not that effective. Therefore, I removed that in Gen 12. My experiment showed there is a better way to fold it and create a smooth fold. I'm still doing experiment on this. In Gen 12, I used the cross beam for holding the middle part of the boat together, as well as provided support for the back of the seat. This eliminated the needs to create straps for the back of the seat. Because the way the boat is being folded together, it has fewer pointed corners. This reduced the chances that it will be damaged when in use. I will look at the final bow assembly and water test in my next video. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned. There are more interesting things to come. Bye.